friends, welcome to Val's Kitchen Eats. And today I'd like to share with you how I make my chicken wings. Here's a little fun fact. For Super Bowl, Americans will consume 1.4 billion chicken wings. Luckily, we don't have to wait for Super Bowl. We can have this delicious appetizer all year round. And today I'd like to share with you how I make my wings three different ways. Here are the ingredients that you will need. All right, so I'm all set up to start breading my chicken wings, but before I do, I just want to talk about what I've done so far. Took my chicken wings, washed them really, really well in cold running water, then submerged them in some more water with some salt, let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. The reason for that is cleans it out a little more, and at the same time, the salt kind of gets in there and kind of marinates the chicken on the inside. Then drain that water as much as possible and then pat my wings with some paper towels and made them really, really dry. So they're gonna go into our oil, hot oil. They won't be splattering all over. Now I have my flour here and cornstarch. It's two to one, two flour, one cornstarch. And the cornstarch is gonna give it that crispiness and the flour will give it some flavor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some, I have some turmeric and granulated garlic, garlic for flavor. And turmeric doesn't really add that much flavor. I'm not putting a lot in there, but it gives it that nice golden color to the wing. So you will see it. So that goes in, salt really well, and pepper. Okay, whisk everything. I have my oil heating behind me and I want it to come up to 350 degrees. All right. Okay, let's begin by making our Asian sauce. I got some garlic. I'm gonna put it in my garlic press. You can chop it if you want. Put a little bit in my pan. If you got one of these, if not, just squeeze it in there. Right, good. The other half. All right, we're gonna put a little bit, a few dashes of soy sauce, honey for sweetness. Chinese cooking wine, a little bit of ginger, sriracha for some heat, got some ketchup, some oyster, oyster sauce, and a little bit of this hoisin sauce. I got some Thai basil that can go in, mix it up, and that goes on the stove. All right, just gonna add a little bit of black pepper to it and a little bit of salt and it goes on the stove and I'm going to reduce it and make it nice and thick. All right, so let's make our Italian wings. For the Italian wings, I have some red uh, pepper flakes with some oregano, they'll go in our bowl. Garlic, we'll crush some right in there. Some melted butter. I have just for a little touch of flavor, a little of uh, sage here and some parsley. So it doesn't have to be too fine. Just give it a nice rough chop. It'll, it's gonna look good in there. Okay. And give a ton of flavor. Okay, mix it. Some salt, pepper. All right, and I have uh, some truffle oil here, but olive oil will work just as fine. And I have some 24 month aged Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna grate that right over our chicken wings when we'll mix them in. That can wait. Okay, so at this point, two of our sauces are done, and the third one is your traditional buffalo sauce. It is super easy to make, and we'll make that one right before we toss our wings in the bowl. So let's begin by frying our wings. Okay, so our Asian sauce is reducing. It looks like it's almost ready. Just want it a little thicker. So just gonna lower the heat and let it continue to cook. 
All right, our chicken is ready to go in. Our oil is at 350 degrees. And I'm using sunflower seed oil. It's a high temp oil. You guys can use peanut oil, any high temp oil that you have on hand is good to fry. Okay, so our chicken wings are done. And there's multiple ways you can tell if they're done or not, is by seeing the amount of bubbles they're releasing. You'll see that it's a lot less than it previously was, like a half point midway. Or you can take our thermometer and check, make sure it's 165 degrees. Or you can just take one and cut it with a knife and see if the meat is clear and there's no juices um and you'll know it's done so we're ready for our second batch okay so i'm cooking my chicken in two separate batches and as you guys see the nice golden color that is forming right now that's the turmeric that's adding that little touch okay and once the chicken goes into your oil, you don't want to stir it right away. You want to give it at least two minutes before you start stirring it around. So the crispiness from the flour and the cornstarch gets a chance to form and kind of stick to the skin. If you start stirring it right away, you're going to help it kind of separate. So do not do that. All right, it is time to sauce our wings and tray them. So the best time to season fried food is as soon as it comes out of the fryer. So we'll hit it with a little bit more black pepper and salt. Our sauce, the Italian, that one, what I did, I put it in the microwave and kind of let that garlic infuse the butter and that truffle oil or the olive oil that you will be using. So let's take a few, throw them in. Oh, the aroma is unbelievable. And a little Parmesan, Parmesan Reggiano over here. Okay, that goes in, and I have some fresh basil. It is Italian, right? So got to add a little basil to that, like that. Toss it one more time. And I'm going to get my plates. I put it on a microwave for about two minutes to get them nice and hot. So they keep the food hot as well. And our Italian wings can go right over. The garlic, basil. Put that aside. And let's give it a little more Parmesan. And there you go, that's our first one. Set that aside. Let's work on our second one. We'll make the Asian, so the sauce goes in. All right, and let's hit it a little bit with sesame. Okay. And we have some herbs, cilantro, scallion, a 
right in there. Give it another toss. All right. That goes over. Some more sesame. All right. I'm gonna change my gloves out for that third one. I'm getting a little sticky. All right, but this is what we have. The second one. All right, so our third and final sauce, what we have here, we have some hot melted butter that goes in. And we have hot sauce, your preference, any hot sauce that you like at the supermarket that goes in. All right, mix it in really, really good. So this is what you get when you mix in butter and the hot sauce. All right, that's good. All right, our chicken wings go in. Let's get our plate. Put a little bit of lettuce on the bottom. All right, that goes over. Okay. I have some blue cheese. And on this side, we'll put some carrots and celery sticks. There you go. That's our third one. All right, guys, so it is time for the taste test. But before I do, I just want to talk about a few things that went behind the scenes. My wings took 12 minutes to cook. It all depends how you can keep your temperature of the oil. If you can keep it at 350, it will take you about 12 minutes. If it's going to drop and you're going to have to take it up by a minute or two. So the times will vary. You can always take one wing out and cut into it or if you have a thermometer and check it that way, it should read 165 degrees for chicken. All right, any mini money mo, the Italian one, let's do it. All right, got a little Parmesan, some basil. I see some garlic there. Mmm. Really nice. The oregano, a little red pepper flake, the butter, everything kind of comes through and the chicken is really nice, juicy, tender, and at the same time, really nice and crispy on the outside. Let's go for the Asian one. Same thing, nice, juicy, tender, crispy on the outside. When you're biting into it, you can hear it crackling a little bit. That's the corn, corn starch that gave you that crispiness. And the sauce, the sauce is really good, has all the right tones of flavor, a little heat, a little acidity, sweetness, and the herbs, just putting herbs in there. Um, the cilantro, the green onion, the scallions, and um, some Thai basil really plays really nice all together. Look at that beautiful white meat. Look, comes right off the bone. The skin is nice and crispy. I don't know if the microphone really picks up when, I, when I'm eating it. All right guys, I really enjoyed making another one of my videos and showing you guys on how I make food at home for my friends and guests. So please like and subscribe Cheers to everyone, stay healthy, tune in for more. Aloha.